now to present the award for male race of the year, the man who delivered perhaps the moment of the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. Had there been a golden goggles back then, safe to say his unforgettable 100-meter butterfly would have nailed it. And joining him, a three-time Olympian for Team USA in 2004, 2008, and 2012. She is the co-star, along with Missy Franklin, of the newly released documentary, Touch the Wall, which had its New York premiere in downtown Manhattan last night. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome three-time Olympic champion Pablo Morales and four-time Olympic medalist Carolyn Joyce. The race of the year. It's so humbling to be standing up here to present an award of these incredible athletes. It's the award that celebrates not a body of work or a season of the ages, but a single moment in time when all that private preparation comes together in the perfect moment. That's right, Carolyn. Here are four swims that captured that moment and stood out above the rest in 2014. First, there's Tyler Clary's 200 backstroke at the Pan Pacific Championships in Australia. The reigning Olympic champion used a blistering final 50 to claim gold and sealed his status as the world's man to beat in that event. In the men's 200 breaststroke, there was Georgia senior Nick Fink. Down under, Fink made his first trip up an international podium when he secured a hard-fought silver at the Pan Pacifics. Next, there's Michigan's Connor Yeager, who delivered grueling gold at the Pan Pacific Championships in the 1500 over heavy favorite Ryan Cochran of Canada. And finally, the great, the great one returned in the 100 butterfly. Michael Phelps has made a career out of miracle finishes and all-time moments in this event. At the Pan Pacifics, not only did he surge to gold, he stroked to the fastest time in the world this year. Tyler Clary, Nick Fink, Connor Yeager, and Michael Phelps, your nominees for the 2014 Male Race of the Year. Oh, oh, yeah, the drums, they swing low, and the trumpets, they go. Tyler Clary swam the perfect race in the 200 backstroke in Australia to ace out Japan's Ryusuke Irie and Australia's Mitchell Larkin to earn the gold medal. Trumpets, they go. A lifetime best in the 200 breaststroke earned Nick Fink the silver medal at Pan Pax. The 21-year-old just missed catching Japan's Yasuhiro Kaseki in the final 50 meters. Here comes Fink, and at the touch, it will be Fink's second. A personal best for Nick Fink. Yeah, the drums, they swing low. And the trumpets, they go. The men's 1500 free at Pan Pax proved to be a game of cat and mouse. Fortunately, Connor Yeager was the last to make a move, and he held off a stellar field to win his first international gold medal. At the wall, the pride of Fairhaven, New Jersey, Connor Yeager gets the win. Hey, go Yeah, the drums, they swing low. And the trumpets, they go. Of his pet races, Michael Phelps won his first international gold medal since London by dominating the field in the 100 butterfly at Pan Pax. And the golden, go golden goggles for male race of the year go to? Congratulations, Connor Yeager, 1500 freestyle. Hey, go blue. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I, uh, I just got the chills watching that, and um, seriously, to see my name next to the other nominees tonight kind of has me a little blown away. Um, 
You know, seriously, thank you, uh, the other nominees. Thank you for inspiring me throughout the meet. Thank you for everybody in this room for inspiring me uh, these past three years. It's been awesome to be part of USA Swimming, and thank you to USA Swimming and USA Swimming Foundation for putting on tonight. Uh, this is pretty awesome to be part of something so special like this. Uh, thank you, and um, hey, go USA. <laughs>Connor, congratulations. Can we stop to just notice one thing for a second? This is the first time in the history of the Golden Goggles that both of the winners in Race of the Year have come from the 1,500 meters. First time ever. Which uh, might give the producers at NBC Sports, NBC Sports something to think about next time they cut to commercial in the middle of that race. <laughs>